right guys we're uh going out on the creek today do a couple couple spots on the bridges got a bunch of rain the last night or two uh, so the water level's up really high she came up about a foot in this little creek oh i might be getting wet well the fish are going to be able to move wherever they want to now Try a little top water right away. I was using some uh, good old river to sea whopper ploppers, a little off brand. It's working pretty good. First cast, look at that. Right off. Push my. Just under 16. That's why it gets so murky. Oh, there is another one. Let's see if that guy will come back. I set the hook a little late on that one. Freaking aggressive. Gotta love smallies. Gotta love them. He got a little he got a little hook on that one. I don't know if he'll come back. Alright guys. Uh, we're on to the next spot. Uh, as you can see I was just saying I uh, just had a spike in the temp rain the last couple days. The creek went up about two feet. Water's moving really fast. It's getting really murky. Um, just got one nice, it was a spot, just, just shy of 16 inch smallmouth. Um, it's pretty good for that creek actually. The It's a, it's a real small creek um, feeding into another big uh, large river in the area. Most of the smallmouth end up coming from uh, downstream from the river. They come up into these little smaller streams. Had a couple nice blow ups. Looks like the same fish biting a couple times. Had him stuck for just a second on the one. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll have some luck in the next spot. Well, next spot. I'm not even going to bother bringing the frog. Take a couple casts over here on this side before we go over to the other. There's where they usually blow you up. Oh, there's one in there. There's one. We're uh, tied on with a little, it's kind of a knockoff of the underspin with a little biospawn exo swim. Uh, seemed to do pretty good earlier this year. Let's see if we can mimic a little bait fish or something like that. But the other day I might have actually just caught my biggest my biggest smallmouth. Uh, there's one. Oh no, that wasn't even a bass. That looked like it was a freaking walleye or something maybe, but I don't know, maybe it was a little a little northern or something. That was cool. Probably a little northern from jumping around. You kind of think that uh, walleyes don't generally jump much. We're hooked up with something. That, that looks like a nice smallie. Don't get on the bridge. That's a nice one. Don't throw it, don't throw it. Oh, he choked it in too. Hey, 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 hey. Look at that guy. 
Look at that. Let me go grab my bump board quick. Look at how look at that thing down in there. Just engulfed it. Tire jig in its mouth. We'll grab my bump board quick and see how long she is. That's a nice smolly. That's a really nice smolly. Let's see how big she is. Holy man, that's a nice fish. 18. 18 incher. We'll take it. Adios. Nice 18 inch slab for the creek. Hell yeah. All right. We're back in the first spot. Uh, just too too many bites to not try again. We'll start off with top water again, just because it's my favorite. The fight. That's a little one. And it's a little guy. We'll take him anyway. We'll take him. We'll take him. Well, I think uh, after that, we're just gonna we're gonna close out today with uh, a couple fish in the bag. Um, did all right for a creek day. It wasn't too bad. Once, if you ever doubt a creek, that's the worst thing you could possibly do. Um, there's big fish in small creeks. Wherever they can get through, they're going. Um, Definitely uh, found that out a couple years back about this little body of water that we got here. On that note, uh, I think we're gonna close her out, wrap up the video. Um, you guys uh, hit the like button, sub subscribe to our page, and uh, catch fish, make memories.